hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video guys you can see that there are different patterns in which you can run leds using microcontroller programming one of such pattern is a train pattern that one led runs forward and the other leds follow so i will demonstrate this to you that how you can program leds using pick microcontroller to run them in train pattern using micro c for pick programming and I will demonstrate the output using Proteus simulation. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC 16 fa 77a microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. This is our first LED, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. I'm going to use the eight LEDs, but you can use as many LEDs as many there are digital input output pins on your PIC microcontroller. If you are using a smaller PIC, then you have less led options if you are using a pick having 40 pins you have like 33 options but there is also technique where you can use one pin to run multiple leds these there are special ic's used for this purpose these are called shift register in future video i will give you a demonstration of the shift register as well that how you can use that with proteus but right now we are going without a shift register we will use one digital input output pin for one led so let's get started as you can see each LED has two pin, one is longer and one is shorter. As known to all of you is that the, the shorter pin is always the ground pin. You have to ground the shorter pin to the common ground of the circuit and in our case it is a ground of the PIC 16FA77A microcontroller. Now the other pin is a power pin but it is not safe to connect this pin directly with the digital input output pin of the PIC. It's better you use a 220 ohm resistor for 5 mm, mm LED. You can use the different resistor depending upon the requirement. You can use 330, 100, 100 ohm to 500 ohm is fine. Now guys, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect the longer pin, one pin to each digital input output pin of the pick. You can select any digital input output pin for the output, but I'm going to use for the first LED, connect the longer pin to one end of the resistor and then the other end of the resistor goes to any available digital input output pin. I'm going to use pin number B7 for this purpose. For the second LED, I'm going to connect its one end to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. From the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, it goes to pin number B6, that is pin number 39. For the third LED, I do the same and I connect it to the pin number B5. For the fourth LED, again, it goes to one end of the resistor and from the other end, it goes to pin number B4. And for the fifth LED, again, I connect one end that is the longer pin of the LED to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, it goes to pin number B3. You can use any digital input output pin, but you have to declare it as an output in the programming. Rest will be the same. So for the sixth LED, I do the same. I connect one longer end of the LED to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end, it goes to the digital input output pin that is pin number B2. Then seventh LED the same and it is connected to the digital input output pin B1. Then for the eight LED the longer pin goes to one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor it goes to pin number B0. Now guys I am not going to show you the other basic setup requirement. I have a video on this setting up a pick. I will share the link in the de description below. If you want to run this on the hardware you have to follow that video. This will be a programming demonstration that how you want to program this now guys this is our circuit and it is completed i will program this pick in such a way that using micro c for pick that when the program runs this led turns on then this turns on then this turns on this 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 and this and this way it keeps on repeat then it will start all over again it will start all over again it is called a train pattern so guys let's get started with the micro c for pick programming let me show you this is a micro C for PIC programming software I'm going to use here. Let me zoom it in for you. Okay, you magnify it. I magnify it. Okay, go to the left file, click on new. I'm using the vision 7.2.0. You can use the older visions as well or the newer visions depending upon which one is available. Okay, so you get this window, click on next standard project, write the name of the project. I write LED train sequence. You cannot give spaces in the newer vision, so you have to use a slash. If you give space, it will give an error in the name. 
Pick 16 fa 7 a is the one I'm using and I'm using a 20 megahertz crystal. Click next and finish. This is our programming window. First of all, save your project, press Ctrl S, click on save. Now it's saved. Now guys, before we continue, first we go to the Proteus and make our hardware setup. This is the Proteus I'm going to use. Click on ISIS here. When you click on ISIS, it will lead you to a new window. Okay, this is the window. Go to the left. On the left side, you have this button, Devices. Click on this P. Write down PIC 16 fa 7 a It will bring you the PIC 16 fa 7 a microcontroller here. You place it. Now go back again. Right resistor. You get the resistors. Select eight resistors. One, two. Okay, you need eight resistor of same value, so it's better. You take just one, change its value to 0.22k. That is 220 ohm. You copy it and you paste it. So you don't have to separately change the values. Now you copy two, it will become four. Now you copy four, it will become eight. Okay, here we go. Here we have our resistors. Now guys, as shown in the presentation, we have one LED connected to each resistor like this, B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, and B7. Complete port B has 8 pins and each pin is connected to each resistor and each resistor's other pin is now connected to the LED. Again go to the components, now select LED, write LED. Now in the LEDs, you have different LEDs, look for the red LED. This is the red LED. No, this is not the LED we want. We want the other LED. Let me zoom it out, it's difficult to understand. Okay, go down. Yeah, these, these are the LEDs we want. Blue, green, this is the red LED. This one is the LED animated LED red. You can use any color as you want, but I'm going to use a red. This is the LED. The end where there is an arrow in this bar. This is the ground and this is our anode. This is the cathode. Now you simply do one more thing here. Is that you need a ground. So you go here. Click on this button and there you have this ground, you select it and place it below your circuit. So where you can ground all the grounding stuff. Now this is our one LED. We want more LEDs, so you place it above. We have eight LEDs as our requirement. So I rotate it anti-clockwise 180 degree. Now this is LED, copy it. Paste it right below it or a bit ahead. This will look better. Next one. Okay, you now copy this. Paste this like this. Now these are four. You copy paste it. It will become eight. Like this. Now we have our eight LEDs. You connect them. First LED to the first resistor. Second LED to the second resistor, third LED to the third resistor, fourth LED to the fourth resistor, fifth LED to the fifth resistor. Okay, this does not look neat. You connect it like this. Now this is better. It is better you work neat because it will help you to debug the errors if they are any during the running of the code. Yes, we skipped this LED, so we go back. Now, seventh LED. This is the seventh LED. Now, connect your eight LED. In this way, our eight LEDs are connected to the power pin. Now, I connect the ground. Now I told you where there is this bar, this is our ground, the grounding side of the LED. You connect all the LEDs together or you send it one top to the common ground. 
like this and you connect rest of the pins to this common count connection like this connect all the leds if you do not connect the led to the ground led will not work at all like this now all of our leds are grounded and connected to the each pin now this is b7 this is our first led our sequence will start running from here or if we start from b0 it will run from here if we start from b7 it will run from here now let's do the programming we have our hardware setup go back to the micro c for pick there start initializing the port b trace b is equals to 0 cross 0 0 if if a pin has trace is a resistor if you give it zero value it will turn that pin or port as output since in this port port b we have eight pins and zero cross zero zero means sending all the pins as output you can send them separately as well but this is a complete port complete b port as output if it was zero ff means one one sending one to each pin then it was to be an input right now it's an output now write give it an initial state initially all the leds should be at zero initial initially all leds are off means they are at zero state give some initialization delay 100 will do fine like this now guys this is our led pins initialized and initial stage has been given now we can start the main loop make it small d right while this is our forever loop starts here and ends here this is our one time loop just like in case of arduino you have void loop and then you have here other loop there this is the forever loop starting here and ending here now write down if we start from the b0 side you write down port b dot f0 equals to 1 first pin has been turned on okay give some delay for how long you want the led to remain on i make it 500 for 500 millisecond the led will turn on then first led must turn off and the second led will turn on for that purpose you make f0 equals to 0 again copy it that is our second step c now f0 turns on and f1 oh sorry f0 turns off b0 pin turns off and b1 turns on now in the third step again copy paste this now f0 is gone f1 is off and f2 turns on see f0 is on here f0 turns off f1 turns on now what happens is that f1 must turn off because f0 is already off see b0 is off and f1 is off too now f2 turns on that is the third led now again copy paste this now f2 must turn on and f3 must turn on oh sorry f2 must turn off and f3 must turn on see this was f2 it's off here it's off and f3 is on now again copy paste this now f4 f3 sorry turns off and f4 turns on now again this time f5 must turn on now what happens is that f4 turns off and f5 turns on now f6 f5 turns off and f6 turns on like this now again copy paste this Now what happened is that F6 turns off and F7 that is the 8th pin from 0 to F0 to 7 is 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is our 8th LED which turns off on. Now what happens is that guys this LED will remain on. You have to turn it off so that when the loop repeats it's off. You turn on thus off the 7th, 8th LED as well like this. In this way, let me again show you how this code will work as my expectation. First LED turns on, 
फर्स्ट एलईडी टर्न ऑफ सेकेंड एलईडी टर्न ऑन थर्ड एलईडी then the second led turns off third led turns on now the third led turns off and the fourth led turns on now the fourth led turns off fifth led turns on now the fifth led turns off sixth led turns on now sixth led turns off seventh led turns on in this way eighth led turns on and rest are off so guys let's build the code and give it a try let's see what happens so it successfully will build, build no errors now let's get back to the proteus in the proteus you go double click we are using a 20 megahertz crystal make it 20 go and select the hex file you just filled i had stored it on the desktop here this is led train sequence i click ok and now i run the simulation and see what happens see the simulation is running see guys this is running as planned if you want to increase the speed of this processing that led should be faster what you have to do is that i stop the simulation go back to the micro c here what you do you simply change the delays you make it 200 200 200 200 200 200 all the delays should be turned to 200 so the speed will increase if you want to slow down the speed simply increase the delay now let's get back to the protein and see if the speed changes or not run see the speed has changed so guys you can even make it that it goes forward here then it should return from here by simply adding more lines in the code that is you have to invert it from here here it was starting from f1 to f0 then you go opposite f7 to f0 here start from f7 then go to f0 this will also go back and forward so guys in this way it was a demonstration i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any problems or any questions you can ask me in the comment if you want me to make a video on some special type of sequence you simply show me the video or diagram of that or some something that a small clip etc share me the link i will make how you can use that sequence with a pic microcontroller i will make a video on it so thank you very much for your time and interest in my channel and i hope you learned something so have a nice day and bye